Hello, Darth Vegan here, back with another new Total War series. This is Total War Attila, the Medieval Kingdom's Total War 1212 AD. This is the modding community's answer to the fact that everyone has been scrambling. Well, I say everyone, all the Total War historical fans have been scrambling for a Medieval 3, basically. <laughs> medieval 2 was so popular. Uh, they, they really want a Medieval 3. And so this uh, modding community created Medieval Kingdoms Total War, which is a mod for Total War Attila, in which you can play, I think, 40-something different kingdoms. It's pretty impressive, actually, the, the amount of uh, work that has gone into it. Let's just take a look at the grand campaign here. Uh, you select, uh, later they're going to have a uh, later campaign, but in the uh, currently we're in the high middle ages of 1212 and uh, gives you a little bit of uh, background about what's going on during this time period in history uh, in the European uh, area. And then here is our list of nations you can play as. Some of these have a lot of backstory and things on here and then some of them aren't complete yet. So if we look at, uh, let's see if I can find one here. There's Aragon, Sicilia, uh, like Austria, for example, doesn't have any uh, text here, but it, you can still play with them and they still have special features. They just don't have a lot of the uh, the historical flavor text added in. But uh, I think we did a poll and I had two different uh, choices. The Kingdom of England here, we could play as or the Kingdom of Navarra. Let's see if we can find them. Nice, okay. So this is in uh, Northern Spain here. You start with the land of the Basques, plus two public order from political reform, plus two integrity when in own or allied territory, path to Santiago, plus 25% wealth from local commerce, uh, but I get negative one loyalty from feuding families. So if we look at England here, we got uh, plus two unit experience for bow units, uh, plus 25% wealth from animal husbandry buildings, and plus two public order from political reform. And we also have minus one loyalty from absentee kingship, because King Richard is, uh, he's out in a crusade, and it's John is, uh, is sitting in for <laughs> Richard speaking, yeah, kind of. Uh, he wants to be king. Yeah, so Richard I, a great warrior and beloved king, and John the first by now. However, England has seen better days. Scots and Irish to the north contemplate revolt, and the nobles have lost faith in their king. Once the pinnacle of feudal achievement led by the previous Angevin kings, King John I has neglected his duties for more frivolous and greedy pursuits. The younger brother of King Richard, he ruled in all but name, while his brother partook in the Third Crusade, spending all but six months of his reign away from the throne. And fortuitous, fortuitously for John, Richard would never return from his crusade, instead dying while besieging a French castle at Chalouse of gangrene from a crossbow wound. Since then, the upstart French Capitaine dynasty has become emboldened by John's mishandling and took opportunity to take back lost holdings. Mm. John first was dishonored with another moniker, John Lackland, for the loss of his birthrights. Now though, new allies and new opportunities in 1212, John Lackland may have the chance to rewrite his legacy. Uh-huh. Let's do it. Initial challenges it says it's very easy. Okay, that's fine. Um, I have exceptional archers and but disloyal uh, nobles. Um, let's go ahead and start. We do have this area of uh, France down here, and then we have uh, England proper. We don't have Wales, Scotland, or Ireland. Maybe we can change that. All right, Robert. Uh, in Sussex. Rumor has it this man's loyalty is wavering. Okay. Alright, let's take a look and see what we can figure out in this game. I, I'm not too familiar with the mechanics, so we'll have to figure it out as we go. This is the Fists of the Father army. It's led by uh, William here. Let's take a look at him. Okay. Interesting. What's his loyalty? Age, influence, loyalty. Okay, so he's he's loyal. He's got an eight loyalty. All right, good. This is very similar to uh, Thrones of Britannia, looks like. So I'm familiar with that a little bit. Who is this? This is Eustace. Eustace here is not loyal. 
Oh my god, how do I increase this loyalty? I could give him a wife, I guess. Can I do something here? Go to records tab, view family tree. Okay. Ah, uh, here's Robert. Sir Robert, he is disloyal. Okay. He's got a loyalty of one, so does William. All right. John, loyalty of four. All right. Interesting. Who's this? This is my brother, William. It's a different brother than this William. Okay. There's lots of Williams around. Eustace, also not, not good. Okay. Okay, so I do have some offices available. Uh, required uh, rank 30. Can I assign anybody? Constable. Okay, so uh, William is my constable. Our power is weak currently at 29%. We have 40% uh, of the control. Our dominion is 18%, which is not great. So we're, we're not in good shape as a family. So uh, that's, that's always uh, not a good thing. Uh, let's look at our summary here. We have the Kingdom of England, capital of London. We have six regions. Okay. 82% Catholic Christianity, 16% uh, Catholic heresies, and 3% Judaism. Okay. Our power is currently weak. All right. Our Imperium. We have two armies, no fleets, no governors. Uh, how, do I, how do I assign governors? Okay, let's let's grab some governors and start because uh, we got six provinces. We're, we're gonna need some governors. Let's go down to this province first at Bordeaux. Let's assign a governor down here first of all. All right, so change capital, toggle garrison details. Ah, I can see my garrison. That's good. It's got a bastion catapult. All right, cool. Aha. Aquitaine, no governor appointed. All right. So for Aquitaine, governors, here we are. Okay. Let's go ahead and assign someone who is loyal, like this William. All right. He's a governor of Aquitaine now. Someone who is less loyal, we will uh, assign them to somewhere I can watch, like Essex. There you go. Did that increase his loyalty at all, Robert? Should. Hopefully. Mercia. We'll send this William. There we go. And then for Northumbria, we'll send John. There we go. And for Sussex, we will send Hubert. And I guess that's going to be it. I could have go ahead and get one for Wessex. Uh, let's get a merchant for Wessex, N Nicholas. There we go. Awesome. All right. So now I've got governors assigned to all of our provinces. I hope that will help me in some way. <laughs> let's go to our technology. What are we going to research first? We got this research, stone castles. Um, we could do crusader kings, which gives us a research rate of 114%. Oh, no, it enables building of military order fort and jousting. Um, could come over here and do mendicant orders. Uh, hmm. I'm going to do a windmill first, though. Get more food, because we're going to need food. I need lots of food for our lots and lots of armies. Plus, it's only nine turns, so. All right, we're going to start researching windmills. And let's see what we can do for armies here. All right, so we got this army of uh, Toulouse. The County of Toulouse. The Warriors of Divine Justice. Okay. Interesting. Well, he's also got Montpellier. Alright, who's this? This is the French. The Legacy of Rome. <laughs> is the name of his army. That sounds a little pretentious, doesn't it? Alright, so we, how much money do we got? We've got... Uh... 11,825 slots. Pretty good. Let's go into London here and see what we can upgrade. Uh, London here has some squalor. Our sanitation is dropping, so we need something to increase our sanitation. Uh, if we uh, upgrade our city to a large city, that will increase our sanitation to plus three. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. That'll cost 9,000 gold. Oof, that's expensive, but that'll be good. We're going to upgrade England. I mean, London. I'll like get that brought up. What is our current status of our wars? Diplomacy. Are we at war with anyone currently? We have a military alliance with Flanders and with the Holy Roman Empire. We've got a trade group. I mean, a non-aggression pact and military access to Kingdom of Navarre. Let's go ahead and uh, initiate some diplomacy there. Today's greetings to you. See if we can get a... For you have my attention to the ear of the August people. Thank you. I don't have the option to do a trade agreement with him. Cannot trade. Okay. Uh, what about Sicily? Can I trade with them? Welcome, worthy guest. I trust... Welcome, worthy friend. Let's I see some... Uh... Honor both your... He said no. He don't want to trade. That's rude. Whales? Can we do some trading with the whales? Alright, they, they agreed to it. Good. So, uh, what is our 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 uh, relationship with whales is uh, increasing. So it's improving. They're currently neutral. They only have one region. Uh, their strength rate is 56 and mine is uh, 6. So... Uh, kingdom of Bologna. Let's get this Bologna kingdom up. See if we can trade for some Bologna. No. All right. No luck there. What about this caliphate. Be welcome, emissary. Yeah, they don't. They don't want to trade either. Anybody else? Viva la France. Welcome, worthy guest. France, you want to trade? Oh. We do not ask much. Merely a contribution. He doesn't want to trade, but he does want a... Uh, trusty guarantors of peace for all. Yeah. He does want a uh, non-aggression pact. Interesting. Hmm. It wouldn't be bad to have a non-aggression pact. Let's counter-offer and also do a trade agreement. Nope, he said no. Okay, well. You're lost, buddy. Okay, and then let's try Pisa. We are, as always, a welcoming host. All right, Pisa is going to trade with us, so that should help our income there. Well, that's good. Do I have any decisions to make? I can found an empire, ask the Pope for money. Okay. Um, provincial edicts. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, organize militia drilling. Construct rural wayhouses. Get wealth from agriculture, growth. Raise levies. Levy taxes. And empower local ruler. Our public order will go up by plus four. Let's do this. Uh, construct rural way houses where our growth and our uh, uh, agriculture will go up. Okay. Very good. Our food has a surplus of 327. That's good. Predicted income uh, of 2477. That's also good. Awesome. All right. I, I guess. We don't have much to do as far as any combat or anything. I don't think I'm at war with anyone, so... Uh, yeah, no wars currently. No, no current wars, so I guess we'll end this first turn and uh, see where that takes us. Oh. Let's get prov uh, edicts on all our provinces here. Uh, we might just do Mercia and Edict. We might just do the same one in all of them. I wish I could cycle through my provinces somehow. All right, I think we're in good shape everywhere, except down here we got some pretty bad sanitation, actually. Yeah, minus six, yikes. Any of these things increase our sanitation? Nope, okay. Now let's end the turn. Oh. Some in the state are known to have lavish tastes. These men remember with fondness those who help fund such tastes. Mm. Portugal wants to have a non-aggression pact, eh? We already have a trade agreement with them. Well, I'm not looking to take Portugal, so I will accept this. I do want to do a counter-proposal. I don't want to pay them money. So they said no. Okay, well, bite me. The people see you as worthy allies mm. and suggest that you consider an alliance. The Irish want an alliance. I mean, a non-aggression pact. <laughs> uh, 
Lots of people want non-aggression packs. Okay. Well. I already have a trade agreement with them. Again, I'm not going to pay you for a non-aggression pact. All right. So we're non-aggression pact we with cooperation Ireland. Would serve us both well in the trying days <laughs> Wales wants a non-aggression pact. Okay. Um... We'll take it. Okay. Got uh, lots of non-aggression packs going. Uh-oh. Let's see what else we got. Uh, lots of uh, edicts issued. The fate of the Angevin. Whispers have alerted the king that nobles are conspiring, thinking him weak. The king of England must prove his worth and return prestige to the English crown. France has inflicted great defeats on the Angevin dynasty in recent years. Returning the favor would quell these rebels, if only momentarily. We would declare war on France... Um, I'm not at war with anybody else currently, so let's go to arms and declare war on France. Okay. War declared against France. Okay. Very good. So that worries me a little bit because now Bordeaux is, uh, is vulnerable. So let's raise an army over here. Bordeaux. We can bring John, the king. Is that King John? Yes. The defender. Or I could send Folk or Hubert. Hmm. I'm free, basically. So we're, we're send John down here. You get you jump into Bordeaux. Let's recruit some units. Let's see what we got available. Some spearmen. Bill, billman and long billman all right so we'll need a couple of spearmen one billman and a couple of long billman should i just i'll wait on the long billman or just grab some billman first okay uh defenders of the faith i don't really want that to be our name can i change the name long arm of john all right, yes, the long armor of John. We'll choose my banner as well. That's cool. Do that nice one there. Okay. Our integrity is pretty good. You can execute deserters. Interesting. Okay. All right, John. Let's uh let's prove our worth here, John. Let's uh let's make it happen. All right, so it is winter currently. And let's see what we got up here. Can I bring this army, Fists of the Father, down? I reckon I can. Trade route shared. Let's go ahead and land over here. What territory is this? Landers. Okay, we, we're allies with them, so I think that will be okay. At least I hope so. Flanders. Let's uh We are as always a welcoming host to you. Yep. I await your Can I have military access? No. Well, I'm in your land anyway. So <laughs> we have a military alliance. Can I set coordination target? Yes. Let's go after Ro Ro Rowan. And then uh Burgundy is now at war with us as well. Okay. Holy Roman Empire set a war coordination target. Of Burgundy. Okay. All right. Oh, I can't do it per country. No, I can't. Okay. Well, they're both going to go after Burgundy. I guess I'll go after France. All right. All right. Fair enough. I will bring this army down as well. Or should I wait? I'm gonna go ahead and bring them down, and then we'll we'll look and see what I'm gonna need uh, as far as armies, because um, I have no idea what the enemy has currently. So let's grab an agent. No current, no candidates available in that territory. Okay, what about up here? Can I do an agent up here? Ah, I can. What we got here? Priests. Okay. Public order plus two. Agent self-defense, okay. 
What what do the priests do for me? I'll ask for a group one. Find out. And words are yours. Let's see what he does. Mr. Priest, he spreads religion, constant effect. Inspire populace, uh, okay. Encourages dissent in a foreign settlement. All right. We'll just keep him here then. Let him, uh, do. Do you think me a fool? No, I think you're. Have you taken leave of your senses? Why don't you just chill out, bro? That's your command. This army here is, uh, it's got sergeants, foot knights, billmen. Some longbowmen and English knights. Can we grab some spearmen as well? Are you ready to serve? It is a great and glorious thing there to we go. serve your people. Very good. That's awesome. And then uh, I guess I'll end the turn again. All right. See you as worthy allies Castile wants a uh, non-aggression pack, sure. We do not ask much, merely a contribution towards the legions, those trusty guarantors of peace for all. Yes, let's do a non-aggression pact even though he wants 100 bucks. I've got the money and this will be helpful to not have an enemy at our south of Aquitaine. Uh, let's see. Uh, allies declared war on another faction. Sicily. Okay. I'll enter the war. I'll enter the war on the side of the allies, but... <laughs> oh, great. Denmark declared war on the Holy Roman Empire as well. Jeez. Okay. It's devolved into a huge... Anarchy. Okay. So, we've got lots of, uh... Lots of stuff happened. Um, the reconquest of Normandy was a mission that was given us to us. Okay. Own the region of ruin. Got four turns to do it. All right. And I'll get some rewards, which is what? Loyalty for all characters. And can't tell what that bottom one is. Okay. Now that's where I'm going anyway, so. Let's go down here and lay siege to it. King's Justice, why don't you go fight something else? Go. I want to take Rowan. Alright. Maybe I should bring the priest down here. And spread dissent. Because I think my populace is pretty happy. And they've got a plus four, they've got a plus five, they got a plus seventeen. Plus four... Plus two up there. Maybe I'll bring the priest up here to York. Yeah. Quit speaking that Latin. Yeah, and he's up to plus four. Okay, good. All right. Uh, you are ready for orders, so let's grab a couple more longbowmen. Okay. Very good. How much money do I have? Enough. Okay. John's going to need some additional warriors as well. It's a good life. Okay, we'll do three. There we go. And then we'll grab one more up, lads, for a billman. Good and life. Okay. Very good. Let's bring this army. Well, we're going to wait two more turns for him. Can I see the garrison here at Rowan? Oh, he's got some archers, crossbowmen, French chevaliers. Sergeants and levies. Okay. Interesting. I think we can still win. Alright. Let's, uh, ooh, I got wavering loyalty here. Alright. It's Eustace here in our territory of London. Eustace, the governor. Hello, governor! Okay. Hmm. Now that's Hubert. Hubert's okay. Let's find Eustace here. There he is. Okay. 
he's in Sussex. Okay. Ah, yes. Mm-hmm. Can't do anything with his household or give him a wife. Okay. Oh, okay, look at this. Okay. I can assign them to offices. Provost. I had the following effects. Personal influence, public order, wealth. Integrity. Okay. Let's go ahead and give Eustace... Promote him to... Uh, provost. Let's do William. Promote him to Provost as well. And Robert. Let's just see if this helps. I'm guessing this is taking some of my influence to do this. Not sure. Let's see what happens. Let's end the turn. Ah, oh, another non-aggression pack from Aragon. Yes. Uh, France has moved up an army into Rowan. Ruin. You're about to come to ruin. Still got one turn left on those, yes. Okay. This priest. Continue to spread your influence, priest. Uh, no. I think that... Okay, he's gonna help inspire the populace. Uh... We're in good shape everywhere there. He's got one more turn. Recruit those... Uh, Longbowman, and then down here in France, two more turns for him as well. Okay, this guy, I could go ahead and lay siege. He's got another army in there, which is going to be bad because he's already got this considerable garrison. Why can't I? Why can't I attack him? Okay, I could try to stage an ambush here. See if I can get him to come out. All right. So we'll do that, and then I guess I'll just end the turn. Political obstruction. Let's see what we got here. Robert here. Power weak. Dominion 30%, control 40%. When one is climbing the greasy pole, there's about one rule. Hunt or be hunted. Your candidate has been blocked from office by your opponents. What will you do? I can lower my influence and assign him anyway with a decree. I can do a political favor... And he'll be assigned. Uh, I'll lose uh, influence for Robert. What's his current influence? 36? It's higher than mine, so I'm going to do a political favor. Okay. Alright, good. Alright, good. Due to the closeness of our borders and the peace between us, relations with this neighbor have begun to approve with Wales. Okay, good. All right. I think um, Aragon has now declared war on France as well. So that's actually really good. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and end the turn again and see what happens. Ah, no wonder I could not attack. Looks like our ally was already laying siege, or maybe he just started laying siege. I'm not sure. But I totally could not... Uh, I couldn't get in there to, to attack him, so... Let's go to a normal stance. I guess we'll just stay here and help siege this, I guess. Ready for further orders. And uh, I won't be able to get this, my mission here. Uh, Robert's loyalty is still wavering. Okay. Uh, I can't upgrade this Catholic chapel to a Catholic priory. Increases my sanitation and food and growth. Tax rate goes up a little, or goes down a little bit. Let's go ahead and do it. It's 3000 That's pretty expensive. Hold on. I hate that I'm not going to be able to get that. He's got one more turn for that recruitment. He's recruited. So I'm going to go ahead and bring them down as well. The Lights of Absolution. Yep, he's going to come down there. Anything I can recruit here for one turn. One turn, one turn, two turns. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab another Spearman. Another Billman. Okay. 
All right, very good. I think we're in good shape there. Uh, 813 income. All right, we're, gonna, we're just about running low on our our incomes there, so we're going to have to be careful. Let's right, end the turn again. Okay. Looks like Flanders has abandoned the siege of Normandy, which is good. Now I can do it. Okay. Yes, let's lay siege to the settlement. All right. Very good. What do we got here? Ladders. Let's do that. And we'll do a uh, light battering ram. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't know about a lot siege. We won't do a lot siege tower. We'll do a battering ram and some ladders. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do one siege tower. And another ladder. We'll continue that siege there. And then we'll that'll give us time to get this guy uh, in for reinforcements as well. There we go. All right. So two more turns and we'll be able to attack that place. All right. 584 is our predicted income now. Let's go ahead and go in here and recruit just a couple more units. Uh, let's go Spearman and Billman. One more turn for him, and then we'll be able to start moving him out and uh, attacking some of these other French provinces. How many turns do I have left on my on my uh, objectives here? Uh, I only have one turn left. Oh no, I really need that loyalty. Mm, I don't think we're going to make it, unfortunately. Because the... Uh, our, hmm. Let's go ahead and bump those off. Hopefully, I'll still be able to attack um, next turn and it'll still count, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how that countdown works. I mean, I could go ahead and attack now, but I won't be able to breach the walls. Does it have walls? Uh, can I look at the map? It does have walls. Yeah. Barricades available. Wall strength, 93%. Yeah. Yeah, so I wouldn't be able to break in without some sort of siege equipment. So, we'll just do this one turn. And hopefully we can still get to our mission. Oh, we got to level up for William here. Okay. Let's see, he can get Warrior for additional zeal. Uh, give him more melee and missile damage. You can get Authority, which will increase his public order and morale. William, uh, he's, he, is he a governor currently? I can also give him a new companion. Interesting. Let's go ahead and give him uh, Cunning. Okay. He's got another skill point already. Personal influence or tax rate. Get some more money in here. Okay. Robert. He's also a governor. Same thing. William. Okay. Very good. John. Shield bearer. Interesting. And a guard dog. <laughs> All right. Very good. Hubert. Nicholas. He's stupid. <laughs> well, let's give him some cunning then. He's stupid. He's got a guard dog as well. And Edmund, my priest. All right. Uh, I can do uh, public order additional for the next level. Okay. I could do uh, spread religion, spiritual leadership. Okay. Gives him more authority. Uh, let's just do more public order. 
<clears throat> for him. Oh, he's got two. Okay, so let's do Inspire Populous as well. Upgrade his Inspire Populous. Okay, cool. Is that it? Is that all my actions? My decisions to make? It's in the turn, I guess. Military investment. Okay. Very good. My construction of the large city in London is complete. That's good. Robert still has wavering loyalty. All right. The Magna Carta. Showing himself an incapable commander, the king of England now must face his ambitious nobles. Prepare a document which will limit the power of the English crown. To sign it would be the utmost humiliation. To refuse to sign it would be a signal of a war. I failed the mission of conquest of Normandy. Okay. Fourth Council of the Lateran. Uh, new Crusade. But not. Don't know what it is yet. All right. So Magna Carta. Okay. If I sign the charter, the crisis will be averted. Uh, I'll get plus two loyalty, but lower tax rate. And a council of nobles now meets to discuss matters of state. All right, let's sign the charter. We'll sign the charter. Our predicted income is still 513, so it's still positive. Okay. Very good. Let's come down here. This army. Okay. I could come on out to Orléans. Okay, let's go ahead and fortify. Oh. You there. Get to work. In case I get attacked. Alright, Flanders is here. He's himself. raiding. Let's go ahead and attack. No Even though we failed the... Uh, we failed the uh, mission, we can still attack. We've got our reinforcing army and our main army. I think we can do this. No problem. All right, so he's got several units of archers and crossbowmen, so I don't have to worry about the knights, really, because uh, they're not going to be super effective in the town. So I should be able to take my billmen or my spearmen in and take care of them, no problem. I do have knights of my own, and I have some light cav to harass. But again, with siege battles, they're not super effective. But I'll probably put my knights and my swordsmen on the walls and uh go from there all right it's foggy so let's wait it's raining so let's wait fog again let's wait and it's dry nice awesome start our deployment okay what we got here fellas that's some funky looking ladders oh they're siege ladders interesting okay cool all right, let's see where we want to deploy here. So he's got towers on this side. If I come in on this side, it does not have... To. Look at these walls. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. How nice. I mean, he's got these towers, obviously. Um, but if I come in from this direction, he's got additional towers. So I think we'll come in from this direction. This was a good decision of the AI here. All right, so the... I do not want archers on the <laughs> battering ram. That's the worst idea ever. All right. So let's put those guys back there. I want some of these spearmen with shields to do the battering ram. Okay. Billmen, swordsmen, 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 spearmen. Uh, got some more archers with another battering ram. No thanks. Drop that. Too bad I can't have cavalry get off their horses and and do it. Oh, I can. Oh, I can put my cavalry on there. Nice. Okay. Interesting. I think we're in good shape. Got billmen, swordsmen, knights, spearmen all ready to take action. All right, so we'll move this battering ram in there that way. We'll keep these guys in reserve just in case this guy gets destroyed. And then, uh, oh, I got one more unit of swordsmen here. You dismount. You're going to grab those ladders. Okay. 
Awesome. All right, I think we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and grab our archers. They're going to be group number two. We will, let's see. We don't want skirmish mode. Do we want loose spacing or not? We could do flaming shots, base damage 28. Bonus versus cavalry, bonus versus elephant. Okay, extended shot has greater range, less damage, standard shot. We're on heavy shot currently, armor piercing damage. Okay. All right, let's get all of our archers lined up. Okay. All right. I guess I can't just group them all up. Okay. What? Why are you? Why are you being like this? Okay. Warriors of Christ. Warriors of Christ. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's form up like this. And like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and start the battle. And we're gonna move these guys up. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice speech there. I got my longbowman coming in. Okay. They can't reach me from here, so. We've gained the upper hand already, guys. Oh, and we got our reinforcements coming in over here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. These guys... Start moving up. And then these guys start moving up behind them. I'm not super concerned about the cab. I'll bring them in anyway. Okay. Very good. All right. Are you within range of our archers yet? Just about. I think we're just about in range of their towers, too, unfortunately. Yep, they're firing at us. Let's pepper that guy if we can. Alright, you pepper him as well. There we go. Fire at them. Let's fire at these archers. Go ahead and start going towards the gate. I'll let these guys fire just a little bit before we start bringing in our ladders. See if we can weaken the resistance. Luckily, their fire arrows are very in, uh, inaccurate. Alright. Did I see some peasants running around under? Yeah, I did. Look at this. You shan't be harmed as long as you do not impose your will upon us. All right. You guys move on up. I might take this other battering ram up. Take that gate. Still have no losses on our archers so far, so that's good. We're firing. They've lost a couple of guys. I'm going to take them off of armor piercing and put them on standard shot. And we're not fighting against armored opponents, so. There we go. Nice. I lost a couple of guys, not too bad so far. Some of these guys are getting hit incidentally, but 
They are got their sergeants up there. That's good for him. I mean, yeah, get wrecked, noobs. This guy's surely about to run here. He's losing guys like crazy. They're down to half strength. Here comes my battering ram. Yeah, he's he's wavering. He's wavering. He broke. Okay, good. Switch over to armor piercing. And shoot these guys. Yeah. Fire at the sergeants. Okay. How we doing over here? These guys are moving up. You guys come on over as well. How we doing? We're doing good. Okay. Let's get this guy into position over here. Over there. Move up there. 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 Get over there. Okay. Very good. See back. Okay. Switch back over to standard shot. Shoot these guys. I don't think we're doing just a heck of a lot of damage. We got 40 of them. Okay. Let's fire at these guys instead. They're closer. Longbowman. Oh, they ran already. Okay. Fire at them then. Oh, no, they're back again. I just lost sight of them. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Alright, these guys are trying to breach the walls. Okay. You go over there. Go over there. Go over there. 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 Cut. I'm gonna go and tell him to hit that one. Let's grab these guys and tell him to attack this guy. Oh, look, the gate's open. Oh, it's because those guys are retreating. <laughs> okay. Don't let it fool you. You can't actually do anything with that. Okay. Okay. Alright, shoot these crossbowmen. I should have the range on them. Nice music. Are you battering or what? What's the deal here? Up to 53%. Okay. Uh, guys? Can you stay where you're at and start firing? Nice. Nice music. It's fantastic. Go, man, go. Okay, I'm about to breach the walls. He's stuck on that other ladder. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Get on there. Get on there. Can we break the wall? Oh, we broke the gate. Okay. Drop your siege weapon. Attack these guys. They're archers. <laughs> oh, you fools. 
Our, our, you archers go after them. Okay. We got our uh, men getting up on the walls here. Got some sergeants attacking these enemy spearmen. They're just levies, so it should be no problem. Okay. These foot knights. Let's get these sergeants. Yep. There's. <laughs> we got our backs to. Okay, now they're fighting. Okay. No, don't grab the thing. Alright, we got our billman up. Get on there. Okay. I'm not sure what's happening here. Get in there. Oh, they were they had picked it back up accidentally. Okay. Alright, you guys come in and grab these archers. Nice. You billmen. Come fight on the wall. Go capture that tower. Okay. Archers, fire back on these guys. Cavalry, come flank them. Billmen, grab these levies. Okay. I think we're in good shape. Where'd my spearmen go? Did they get wrecked? The gates are still closed, apparently. Interesting. Okay. There's that guy. Alright. Well. We got them routing. It's good. We're capturing. Keep fighting, boys. Keep fighting. Okay. Got our dismounted cab there doing their work. Billmen doing their work. English foot knights, come help. Sergeants. Okay. If I can capture this gate, we can just bring everybody in. Okay, good. Archers, come on in. Okay. Those guys are retreating. Push in there. Push in there. Okay. Got some enemy archers coming. Billmen go after them. Okay, these guys are firing on these guys. That's good. All right. <laughs> this battering ram's still heading for that gate. Okay. Let's bring in our cab over here. The enemy tower is no more than now. Yep, come on in. Yep, you come on back here as well. And William, come on up. All right, let's get arranged here. You guys get ready to fire on these. These billmen should be able to stand up to these knights here. I mean, they're not great, but their their whole purpose is to fight armed. I mean, uh, mounted men. So archers are firing on them. Let's go heavy shot. Come some more spearmen. All right, archers, change back to. Uh... Oh, these guys are out of ammo. You guys come back. I don't. I want you out of the bike. Oh my God, they're they're flanking us. Okay. Get these guys out of there. These guys came. They uh. They retreated and then came back. It's tricky. Oh, look at those swords. That's some mean looking swords they got. 
We got hatchets. Whoops! You didn't expect that, did you there, archers? Okay. Okay. Let's grab these two. They are now grouped too. Alright, they're firing. Fire on them. There we go. Okay. These guys move up, capture this tower. Attack these knights. Yep, grab them. Let's get our swordsmen. Come attack these guys. Okay. Where's William at? Mounted sergeants come up, grab these guys. Guys, come on up. Capture this. Okay. Move my armies up. You guys, move on in there. Move on in there. Okay. What's he got back here? He's got more Guillaume Roy de France. Okay. Melee cab, take those guys out. You go grab those gates. Okay, we're taking whatever this little plaza is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get wrecked. Oh, my God. <laughs> the general's going for the enemy is more like it. All right. You guys hold your fire. All right. They're out. Okay. We got this gate. Good. You guys go ahead and remount. Bring in these knights. Okay. Looks like he's only got these guys. Where'd Guillaume go? Okay. I don't know. Let's bring these guys up. He's got a catapult over here. He's got Guillaume up here, but I don't, I don't know where he's at. These guys are almost out, so I'm going to put these in group two. <clears throat> I'm going to take these out of the group. Put these in group three, then. Group three, come on up. You guys, come on in. We're going to shoot at Guillaume. And, uh... Under fire from who? Oh, from that tower over there. Okay. Let's bring our Billman up. Now, let's bring these shielded guys up to break that. While you guys go break that barricade down. This guy's out of ammo. Good. Come on back. You guys come on up. Okay. Where are you guys going? Come in here. Look, like it's too crowded. It's fine. You guys mount up. Are they going to walk back to the mounts or their mounts going to come to them? <laughs> Who knows? All right, here we go. Sergeants are attacking this barricade. Okay. Let's see if I can shoot those guys.
All right, looks like we just about got that broke. Let's get these billmen and these spearmen. Bring them on up because we're going to need those against these <clears throat> enemy troops here. All right, got them. Come on up. All right. You guys come on up. Attack them. Archers go attack. We want heavy shot. Yep. You horsies come up here. All right, here comes my spearman and my billman. Come and attack these uh, French knots that are just sitting there. Get them, boys. They're running. As expected. Go ahead and bring guys on up in here and control that. All right, here we go. Oh, we're taking them down with our billmen and spearmen. Get them. Get them, boys. Uh oh, we're burning the tree. And actually, they're the ones burning the tree. It's accurate. Okay. Archers, what are you doing? Why'd you stop? Alright. Can you, uh, there you go. You guys, come over here. Surround them. Billman. Come over here. These spearmen continue to engage. Spearmen engage. Billman engage. And we got it. We got him. Nice. Victory is ours. Okay. Decisive victory. Awesome. Okay, so we we missed our getting our objective by one turn, which is too bad. That's too bad. Archers did a lot of good work. Look at that. It's awesome. Our foot knights did pretty good work as well. 142. Mounted Knights did nothing. As I expected. Aha! Ha ha ha! Nice. Okay. Took a little damage, but nothing too major. Alright, lost 407 men. They lost all of their men. Captured 203. Okay. Alright, I think we will loot and occupy. No, we can just occupy it. We'll get a, a unit replenishment of 5%, which would be good. And the pr province and stability will be less if I do it that way. Ready for orders. Okay. Very nice. At your command. So he is in here uh, replenishing now. You can see the replenishment is going up. Let's take a look at the province itself. Uh, we can rebuild the castle here for 1,620 yikes. Okay. Also, the trading docks, church, and cattle herd all need to be repaired. All expensive. Okay. So let's repair the castle first, I guess. And do I have enough for all of this? 1260? No. Let's do the cattle herd first. We'll have to do the uh, Catholic church last. Okay. Uh, I, st uh, I don't have enough. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Don't have that's dismantled. No, I don't want to do that. What else can I turn it to? Catholic Priory or Military Order Priory? Interesting. Hmm. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. It's real expensive. I can't do it, but very interesting nonetheless. Okay. So, I can push him further into the enemy territory near Paris. Okay. Eustace, Eustace here. 
Useless Eustace. Orders. He did level up, so that's good. Got a cook. All right. I can add a household apparel, a great helm. Interesting. I'll do that. Uh, let's get him some additional authority, probably. Yep. And then we'll do recruitment cost or zeal, which will do what? Let's give him some zeal. Yep. Excellent. Okay, so Eustace leveled up. He is kind of loyal. That's pretty good. All right. And then William here. He's very loyal. I can give him a tax assessor or a cook. I'll give him a cook. Doesn't need a tax assessor. He's got an arrogant wife. All right. Let's give him some commander and some zeal as well. Yep. Very good. What else do we have to do? Uh, how's John doing down here? John's okay. He can't do anything at the moment. Okay, so that's going to be a, it for this first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.